This video is specially for the people who want to get profits from their savings. We usually hear news about Sensex, Nifty, stock market, profit and loss. But most of us never understood complete details about stock market. No problem. After this 10 minutes, you will never confuse any news regarding Sensex, Nifty, etc. Everyone has a dream to purchase our own car and home. For this dream to fulfill, most of us save some amount of money from our salary in banks after all our expenditures. Now I will show you 5 methods which improve your savings amount. For example, if you save 1000 rupees per month, for 1000 rupees now you will get 10 objects. But in the next year, for the same amount you will get only 7 objects. Yes, this happens due to inflation. Every year, cost of the products like mobiles, vegetables, vehicles will increase. An average inflation rate in India is 7.66%. Prices are going up. That means 7% of your savings money is lost due to inflation. So we cannot invest on money. Anyhow, I will show you 5 ways to invest money for higher profits. 1. Savings account 2. Fixed deposits 3. Gold 4. Real estate 5. Stock market Savings account when we save money in our bank, 5% of interest amount is added to it annually. The advantage here is less risk, easy to withdraw. The only disadvantage is low returns due to inflation. Fixed Deposits Most of the people in the society use this method. If you have net banking option, you can make fixed deposit to your account through online. 7% of the interest amount is added to it annually. It is less risky, very safe and easy to break the fixed deposit bonds if emergency through online. Gold If more than 7% of the profit is expected, then people invest on gold. If you observe previous 10 years graph on gold investment, from 2010 gold prices are constantly increasing with higher demands. Even though there is a slight decrease due to pandemic, investments on gold moderately increased. Real Estate If you observe the graph of the investments on the land, you can expect 8% to 12% of returns from it. Even if you got no profits, you will have an asset of land or building. But a major drawback here is, it cannot be affordable by all the middle class families. And our fifth option is Share Market. I will say you clearly with an example. A businessman started a business with 1000 rupees and he ran it successfully for one year. Now he wanted to expand his business. For that expanding, he need 3000 rupees, out of which he only had 1000 rupees. For the remaining 2000, he approached bank. But due to heavy interest in banks, he later approached his friend, explained his business plan and asked for 2000 rupees. His friend accepted to give 2000, but on one condition that he wants to have rights on every decision taken for the company. This businessman rejected the offer and all of a sudden he got an idea. He divided his company into 100 equal parts, not physically but on the paper and set price of each part to 20 rupees. He went to a shop in Bombay and asked shop owner to sell those parts. 100 customers who went to that shop purchased 100 parts at 20 rupees each. Now 100 shares at 20 rupees, 2000 rupees, businessman got his amount to expand the company. Here the advantage to the businessman is, he need not to pay any interest to the bank or offer any partnership with his friend. Profit or loss from the company is shared by all the customers. And here parts are company shares, shop is BSE or NSE, Bombay Stock Exchange or National Stock Exchange. And the customers are investors or shareholders. Bombay Stock Exchange or National Stock Exchange acts as middlemen between companies and investors. As they have less percent of shareholdings, investors have no right in company decisions, whether it may be loss or gain, bailed by all the investors. In simple words, if you buy shares in a company, you become a partner in that. But you cannot go and sit there or you cannot take any decision or ownership. 
but you have right in the profit or loss of the company as the company grows however some investors like 50% of the major shareholders have the right to take decisions in a company now let's see what is sensex and nifty as we seen before bombay stock exchange and national stock exchange acts as middlemen between companies and investors bombay stock exchange has 6000 companies in it top 30 companies in bse has started with 100 points in 1979 but now it is increased to 40000 points in 2020 This indicates the company growth and the points are measured as sensex points. Similarly, National Stock Exchange has 4000 companies in it. Top 50 companies started with 1000 points in 1992 are now 12000 points in 2020. This indicates the company growth and points are measured as nifty points. Stock market runs on Monday to Friday, opens at 9:15 a.m. and at 3:30 pm it closes you can buy any shares in nifty or sensex for suppose if nifty starts at 1000 points in the morning when more number of investors buy these shares then nifty becomes 1200 at afternoon by the evening if some investors sell these shares then nifty reduces and becomes 1100 1000 points is called opening point 1200 points is called higher point and 1100 is called closing point and as it is the lowest point of the day it is called low point in news you can see bull and bear if it is bull market it indicates increase in the market bear market indicates fall in the market the values you notice in television scrollings are the prices of particular share it will change from time to time depending on many conditions demand and value of the share exports and imports from other countries now if you want to invest or trade in share market you need to have dmat account there are two types of investments or tradings in stock market long term investment is buying shares and selling it after 3 to 5 years and intraday tradings are on daily basis of buying and selling large fluctuations in markets may occur in intraday trading with nearly 90% of high risk factor and 90% losses may occur in intraday trading deep knowledge on the stock market graphs is necessary for trading preferably start with the demo accounts and always trade with the low amounts and you need to diversify your investment on different companies rather to stick on to the one company from now you will never miss news about stock market even if you have zero knowledge on the stock market you can still trade yes with the help of mutual funds some asset management companies who have experts and good knowledge on stock market invest your money on low risk shares here your success rate depends on how best expert you select on mutual funds company you need to have 5 years graph before selecting that company if you wish to have a video on mutual funds comment me below Dear friends it takes hours for us making this video but for you it takes seconds to hit like and subscribe buttons if you like my explanation hit like and subscribe buttons and expand our family for all the pet lovers we are providing pure imported dog breeds at best prices feel free to contact